Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, my name is Tatum. Um, for the most part, I used to do just makeup videos, but I'm kind of branching out into other things now, like today's video, which is all about what I eat um, ever since my weight loss surgery five months ago. So I've gotten a few questions on like how much I can eat, what I like to eat, so I thought I would just kind of throw this video together really quick. I don't like what I eat in a day videos because if I did that, I know for sure that I would like go all out, do meals that I definitely don't eat every day, but like we're good for a video, do you know what I mean? So over the past like month or so, anytime I remembered at least um, to whip out my camera and to film what I was eating, I did that. So there's just a bunch of different meals and snacks and stuff that I have been really enjoying lately. I guess I'll just go ahead and get started. One of our go-to meals is just some type of meat, usually chicken or fish, a brown rice, and then a vegetable. Um, so one of my, my favorite meat ever to eat is salmon. So we just grill that up cook the brown rice and I think we had broccoli. My husband cooked this meal, the one that I'm gonna be showing you, and he basically served up the same amount of food for me that he would eat, for her, like or that I used to eat, just like a big full plate of food. Um, and that one single plate lasted me seven meals. Like I was able to like take some from that plate, put it in a little bowl, and reheat it and eat it for seven meals over the course of the next like three or four days and it was I just love salmon and rice so so I do that a lot where I um, I like reheat leftovers because I can only eat a little bit at a time and I mean the set like that meal was so good reheated usually sometimes meals are pretty nasty if you have to um, eat them as leftovers but that little salmon bowl was is one of my favorite um, quick things to do. We'll also do the same thing with chicken. My husband also likes pork chops. So like, we, that's one of our go-to things, just a meat, a veg, and a brown rice, or sometimes a sweet potato, something like that. So that is definitely cooked all the time in my house. Um, and then, sorry, I'm gonna be going over just like all the little clips that I've taken just to even remember what, um, what foods I've eaten. Another favorite of my family's is Thai food. If we go out to eat, it's usually to Thai. I'll usually just order what I used to order, which is just a masaman curry, or my, my our Thai restaurant here has a pumpkin curry that I love, and I'll just order that. I'll eat maybe a few ounces of that with a little bit of rice, and then I'll take it home and do the same thing where I just reheat and keep eating it until I'm kind of over it or until it's gone. And like that one serving of curry that I get, which I usually would kill, um, it lasts me a good like five meals as well. So that's one thing I've definitely learned since having the surgery is Just the portions are so insane compared to what I used to eat It's like not not even 10% of what I used to be able to eat. I feel like okay So Thai food also sometimes if we go out and I'm just not I don't want to waste the money on a full like dish for me um, I will just order my kids their kids meals. I have a seven-year-old and a three-year-old and will like the three of us will eat off of those two kids meals because they never really finish it anyway i'm a pretty cheap date <laughs> it's it's nice to go out to a restaurant and and i don't have to spend like 20 bucks to feed myself um i'm just kind of bouncing around there's like breakfasts lunches and dinners one of the breakfasts we always do is like an egg scramble we scramble up eggs if I have leftover vegetables, which I usually do, I'll cut them up and scramble them in it as well. I don't like doing omelets because I'm not very good at like keeping it all together, so I just like scramble it up. Um, my husband likes to do his with potatoes and meat in it, so I think the clip I have is is one morning when he had like sausage and bacon and potatoes and eggs, and he just scrambled it all up together. Another thing is I have these little kid bowls from Target that I've used for a while for my kids. They're like that big. They're pretty small. I mean, kid-sized servings. And those are the bowls that I use because that's kind of how I can measure like how much I probably will be able to eat. I'll fill, basically fill up that little bowl and that's um, like max what I usually can eat. Um, another quick breakfast snacky thing that I like to do is rice cakes with peanut butter and banana on it. I've always loved rice cakes. I usually get the flavored ones, which I know isn't as healthy or as um, good for you, but like the apple cinnamon ones are really good with some peanut butter, some banana. Um, I usually, like when I do something like this with toast or, or like this rice cake thing, I usually make myself two, just usually just out of habit. 
um, but I can usually only tackle one, but I always have a three-year-old at my side who will always eat whatever I'm not gonna eat. Peanut butter banana rice cake thing, I only got through one of those. And that was more like a snack, but sometimes I'll eat it for breakfast, but I, I find that about every two, two and a half, three hours, I am like starving. Like I can, like it almost starts to hurt because it, I don't know. So I eat often throughout the day, but just little bits. So one of my favorite treat snacky, like candy type of treats, it's not candy at all. It's from Costco. They're called these um, cashew clusters with, it's got like almonds and pumpkin seeds and there's sugar obviously, but they're these little clusters of basically nuts and grains. So good. Um, and I always like, have a few M&Ms with it, so it's kind of like a trail mixy type thing. It really gets me through any cravings or anything, like when I am just needing something like candy, chocolatey, sweet. Oh, another breakfast I'm seeing here. This is definitely not the healthiest, but it's my fa one of my family's favorite breakfasts ever. It's rice, spam, and eggs. Um, I know a lot of people hate spam, but it's just, I grew up on it, it's good. Um, again, I'll just like fill up my little kid's size bowl of it, and that's, that'll be a breakfast. Um, scrambled eggs, brown rice. We cook the Spam with brown sugar. That kind of makes it taste amazing. If you've never tried it, try it. Um, I know it's not the healthiest, but my kids love it. So I, I mean, I'm not super restrictive in what I eat. Like if I want something, I'll eat it. But it's just such a weird feeling to have the peace of mind knowing that I, I'll stop. If you know my past and you know how binging and purging was a big part of my life for 10 years. So being able to know that I can stop eating if I eat like spam eggs and rice because it's not healthy, but I know I can have just a little bit and be satisfied. It's like the best feeling in the world for me. Okay, not really, but it's just, it's just a new feeling and it's really cool. Something I love to do for lunches, um, it used to just be a snack like before the surgery, I would just have it whenever I wanted it, but it's like a meal now. Um, is tuna, love tuna, grew up on tuna and rice. Um, but I will just mix it up with spices, a little bit of mayo, and um, eat it with crackers like Triscuit or Wheat Thins, whatever type of cracker we have on hand. Typical tuna can, I believe it's like five ounces, and I can't really get through it. Well, that's kind of like a good um, reference as to how much I can eat is can't really get through a whole can of tuna in one sitting. Um, something that my husband and I have really been into are these cauliflower pizzas. We just get them at Walmart. They're pretty expensive for a like bake at home pizza. It's not that big, but I'll eat like two or three little pieces of it. And it's actually really, really yummy. So whenever I'm like needing pizza, I'll just pop one of those in the oven. Something I have for breakfast probably more than anything else is avocado toast. Always loved it. If I have tomatoes, I'll cut up tomatoes and put it on it too. Um, but if not, it's fine. I just spread the avocado and sprinkle on salt, pepper. I love cumin. Um, I know a lot of people don't like it, or at least like in my family, but I put cumin, chili, uh, what is it, red chili, what are they called? Chili powder? And if I have lemon juice, I'll squeeze some lemon juice on it. So it's basically guacamole on my toast, but I love it. Again, I usually always make two, and I'll probably get through one piece of the toast, um, either save the other one, and it gets kind of nasty because the avocado goes brown, but I mean, I'll eat it later, or I'll give it to whatever kid is around me. Something I don't do too often, but it's one of my family's favorite meals, is soups. Um, we love soup, we, usually we go out to get soup at like Zupa's or a soup, a little soup salad cafe near us because we just love soups. My husband is obsessed with ramen and pho and any type of brothy soup. And so are my kids now. So I, um, I'll i just show you, I think I filmed like me actually making it, just like a homemade chicken noodle soup. Saute the onions, um, celery and carrots together, salt and pepper. Um, I, I think I added a little garlic. Then I add the broth. I just used rotisserie chicken and I even had leftover just boiled chicken from some meal, like the rice vegetable chicken meals that we do. So that's a really good use of leftover chicken that would probably get thrown away. Um, just add the broth, lots of pepper, because we love pepper, some salt, and then pasta at the very end, and it's just, it gets eaten so fast. We love soups in my house, and soup is 
pretty healthy for you. So that is definitely one of our favorite meals. I mean, it's kind of like a time consuming thing. Not too bad, but we, we definitely go out to eat soup more than I make it at home, which is not good. But if you've had the surgery, you know you're not supposed to drink half an hour before you eat and half an hour after. That is really, really hard for me to remember because I'm just always sipping on water. It's really annoying like if I'm at eating, about to eat a really good meal or like at a restaurant and I'm just not thinking but I'm sipping on water and then the food comes or, or I'm done cooking and then I go to eat and I'm just like I'm too full to, to even eat the food. So that's one thing that has been um, kind of annoying is just not being able to drink like I used to, drink water. Also, like working out and stuff when I'm so thirsty and I just wanna chug a whole bottle, you know how satisfying that is when you're thirsty? That's also kind of annoying when I can't do that because it would hurt too bad and so like it's not very satisfying just to sip on water when you're like dying of thirst. You just wanna chug the whole thing. But I mean, that's something I will just have to get used to. Sorry, I think the heat just turned on so if you can hear that, I apologize. Um, another thing I do obviously is protein shakes and smoothies. That's kind of a given with this surgery. You gotta do, especially in the beginning when you're not getting very many calories and very many nutrients, protein shakes are just kind of a must. So I've gotten used to drinking those. I try to have one every morning um, just kind of to start my day. Um, I love to go, if I'm out, I love to go pick up a smoothie just to kind of keep me sipping on greens or anything. Um, or protein shakes. I don't like to buy the prepackaged ones. Well, I love to buy them, but I don't like to drink them. I try not to because, um, I don't know, I feel like it's something about making your own and knowing what's getting put in it is a lot better. But I do have some of those usually on hand in the fridge just for when I feel like I haven't had any protein or I just need something. Um, especially when I'm about to go, I usually will take one of those right before a workout um, just because it's easy and it's there. Um, if it's not there, I will just go ahead and make one. Something else that we are like obsessed with, we grew up calling it mud. I don't know why this kind of looks like, it doesn't look like mud, I don't know. Any fruits we have, which we always have fruit, um, always have berries usually, um, apple, bananas, if I have an orange, I'll cut it up. If I have mango, I'll cut it up. It's just whatever fruit we have, it changes every time. Um, with a vanilla Greek yogurt, it's the kind I like to get. Um, and granola, if I'm feeling granola, and I just like mix it all up and it's this kind of ugly bowl of mush. It's not like a pretty cute little parfait. I like really mix it up and get it in there. I've had it for as long as I can remember. We've just had mud growing up and I've carried that on throughout my adulthood. I just love fruit so much. I'm a fruit lover. Um, and so I usually try to do use yogurts to kind of make this mud or whatever, um, just to like hold it together and sweeten it. But not gonna lie, sometimes when I'm feeling desserty, I make it into like a desserty fruit salad where I use like a can of crushed pineapple um, some vanilla pudding, I try to get a sugar-free one, and like mix it up with, I use Cool Whip. I don't think there is a sugar-free one, I think it's a low-fat one. I know it's still not healthy no matter what it is, but it's just my favorite dessert on the planet is like this kind of creamy fruit salad. Then I add in whatever fruits I have, I always add in one of the tropical canned fruit just to get the papaya and whatever else tropical fruit is in that. If I have apples, berries, bananas, I'll mix it in there too. Coconut, shredded coconut, um, and it's just so good. So I think those are all the meals that I filmed, snacks, whatever. Um, those are just some of my favorites that I definitely have often. But before I go, I wanted to do a quick update just because I've had some questions um, about, I don't know why I didn't say this in my last video, but I started, I think I have, I don't know. So I started this weight loss journey on August 1st um, at 309, 309 pounds and I'm now at, as of this morning, 258. Um, the first 40 pounds came off so fast. It was just like, it was crazy to like, see how fast that came off. The last, what, 12 pounds that I've lost, is it 12? Um, 11 pounds that I've lost have come off so slowly, like, a pound a week 
and it's just it was pretty disheartening actually because when you see the scale drop so fast for I don't know it's just like I expected it to keep going like that but obviously that's not realistic so it's definitely slowed down but I am seeing changes in the mirror definitely especially since I started I've been working out I started January 1st I believe with CrossFit and doing it three times a week and I definitely see a difference in my body even though the scale isn't dropping like I want it to keep that in mind that it does start to slow down and it can kind of play with your head a little bit let's see another thing is my hair loss I think has like completely stopped so basically from three months to five months my hair loss was insane um it has stopped and you can see it just looks so thin and like there's none there but like nothing comes out when I and like running my hands down like this I used to pull out like handfuls every time I do that um so it's pretty flat like there's not much to work with anymore but it has stopped so I'm very grateful for that so that was it for this video guys I hope you enjoyed it I don't know um if you guys would like to subscribe I would love it um don't forget to check me out on Instagram I've kind of well I posted one but I'm gonna start posting like before and afters of this whole journey. I still have, well, I would love to get to 209, which would make it a 100 pound loss. Um, but like 200 is what I want to be at for the rest of my life. So I've got a while to go. I'm almost halfway there. In five months, I'm pretty proud. Let me know what other types of videos you wanna see or if you have any questions or anything like that, please let me know. And thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.